Welcome along then to Sochi and the Russian Grand Prix, one of eight cities in the world to play host to both the Olympics and a Formula One race. It's a Grand Prix that's proven difficult to crack for anyone beyond the first two rows of the grid in recent years, so let's see if that can change today. And I'm joined once again by Anthony Davidson to bring you the lowdown for today's race. Now, can I talk to you about Sebastian Vettel? There's a new gearbox in the back of that car, which means a grid penalty, and hopefully some excitement as they make their way through the field. Fingers crossed that's one failure they won't have to worry about today, at least. There's not much of a silver lining to starting down the field with a penalty, but I think they'll be able to make some of that back up over the course of the race. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fin starts from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Oldtimer, Leclerc, Max Verstappen, and Sainz, Albon, Gasly, Norris, and Daniel Kvyat, Vettel, Perez, Esteban Ocon, and Ricardo, Stroll, Grosjean, Mick Schumacher, and Kimi Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Magnussen, Russell and Nicholas Latifi. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. start but we need to warm the tires properly now make sure you get some heat into the brakes as well a worrying level of wear on the internal combustion engine. Let's try and keep the revs down. Early upshifts, later downshifts. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. There's a fair amount of wear to the engine now. Just be aware, we're keeping an eye on it. Gap to teammate behind is 8.3 seconds.
we're approaching the pit window, you'll be on the mediums. Okay, some information on Bottas. They seem to have an issue. some wear on the MGUK. To manage this, we'll need to lower our ERS deployment mode. this lap. seconds. Exit now. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. laps of fuel remaining. Nick, 
Nick is coming in for his stop. The gap to the car behind is 3.1 seconds. a few remaining. out in front. on its last legs. Let's try to keep mileage on it to a minimum. over, take care of the car on the way in. That's a spectacular victory then, and with it, the championship is secure. 
It's been a magnificent season and they thoroughly deserve the cheers of the crowd here today. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Not the result our points leader wanted, but it certainly makes things interesting going forward. Now, let's discuss, Ant. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? I have to say Sebastian Vettel certainly caught my eye during today's race. Incredible driving. The Constructors' Championship may be a foregone conclusion at the moment, but regardless, let's look at the standings. It's another clear win for Mercedes as they manage to secure the Constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. Another team that will be satisfied with this Grand Prix is Alfa Romeo, whose good result moves them further up the championship. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. Did you have the wrong fuel strategy today or was it your management? You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. Great, well that's everything. Morning boss, this week's income from the sponsors has cleared and we're making good profit against our running costs.
OK, we've had the new parts come through from the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix.